Hello guys, it's me again. I hope you're, you're okay. Today we press um, wooden wall clock. I received that a couple of days ago and now it's going to be a little bit of a challenge because I never ever pressed one before. So uh, I think it will be more interesting. So we can see how easy this is to press for the first time, like, like me. Um, I got my graphic. Uh, I got my graphic already. Let's print it here. There we go. That's all we're going to print. It'll be in my kitchen wall. Lovely, tasty pizza. I got everything in. There's a mechanism with a little, little hanger here, ready for the wall, and all the bits for the clock. Okay. Um, on DSF uh, Die Sublimation Forum, f quite a few months ago, I had quite a lot of uh, private messages about the um, clock faces. How we do clock faces? Well, you can, you can download some um, of, of uh, uh, Google. There is quite a few nice ones. But also you can make some uh, yourself. Is a nice software uh, on the market, which is called uh, Create a Clock. 2012 version. It's very simple to do and it's amazing and it's very cheap. So uh, let me show you uh, how to do the uh, clock face first so nicely fit uh, your clock. Let, let me show you. Okay so this is how it looks like. Simple window and simple tabs. You can see you just pick your printer Whatever you have, it's really good for the Rico users because if you, if you don't need to use ICC profile, and you, if you can use just just a power drive power driver, that's perfect for you. You can you can print straight from this application. This this program create a clock to 2012 is only for the Windows as far as I know, but I got it on my Mac. Okay, so for the wooden clock we're going to print today, you can pick 191 millimeters diameter. Which is perfectly fine, but I'm a bit picky. I create my own template, which you can easily do in here at custom format, which I add a bit more bleeding, couple more millimeters of bleeding. Okay, so let's pick a clock, this one or this one, it doesn't really matter. Then we go to the tab, select the background, and in here we got quite good selection of smileys and other backgrounds we could use for clocks. Quite interested. Yeah. Some, some fun clocks. And also you can import your old backgrounds, which I did. And I'm going to use uh, this pizza for today. For my kitchen. And now we're going to move to another tab. Set background position. And you can choose which part of the picture you want on your clock see it's, it's quite clever I will do that way sort of yeah okay if we're happy with it you select a style and that's where the fun begin look You can choose everything in here. You can put the dots, you can put the diamonds, you can put nothing in here. Change the font. That's font of my choice. The color of the of the clock face. It depends on the graphic. I use white. Is a bit better, a bit more visible on the, on the on this one. Okay, if we're happy, we can also add the text. Just click text and add anything you like. Quite good. If you want to make very personal item for someone. Okay, so that's very quick short video about this, just to show you that you can actually you can actually do your own faces and this is very simple. So if you if you print from a Rico not a problem. You click print and any any prints straight away for you. I don't have a Rico, so I can't print that way, unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
if you have an episode or any other any other uh, printer and you need to use the ICC profile and you need to print from Photoshop you just click preview sub subly clock subly clock if you create preview that's how your clock look like and simply save as a JPEG if you save it as a JPEG you can simply just open it in a Photoshop and print from here and now you can do it via your, um, IC, use it by using your ICC profile simple and effective you can get this uh, software let me think the create clock 2012 on this website www.my-software.co.uk and it cost twenty-four pounds ninety-nine Sorry, yeah, it's quite good because you because you have other softwares in here as well. But I'm only interested in clock, so I got a clock one. Okay, so uh, let's print it on a clock. Okay, so press is ready now. I set it for hundred ninety degrees, sixty seconds medium pressure this is an artwork um, actually before I apply artwork this is a wooden clock as I said I really never ever actually done them so I don't know if we should uh, prepress them sometimes we need to prepress them to get the, all the moisture out in case they wrap so I don't know, let's try the prepress. Prepress for a couple seconds. That's it, that should be enough. Yep, there was some moisture you can see um, around the clock. Look. Can see there is some moisture now on the on the clock face. You probably don't see it, but there is. So let's wipe it off. A bit of cloth. And now we can apply the transfer. As you can see, I always leave some uh, some bleeding, not much, only a few millimeters, maybe two. Should be enough. Okay. Now we tape it. Tape the transfer. one more and we should be ready to go now okay. as I said 190 degrees 60 seconds medium pressure let's press it Okay, few seconds left. Okay, let's see. What I do, I will prepress that with my uh, heavy weight to cool it down quicker and to avoid the wrapping. As uh, you can probably. Uh, Notice sometimes you um, placemats or coasters they wrap they wrap a little bit 
so this should help a little okay should be right let's see we can see still the moisture in it there was quite a lot of it let's see I would say it's excellent. What do you think? Looks quite nice. Okay, let's make a proper clock. I just managed to put the um, all the mechanism in. Simple to do. Just the one one screw. And now we can fit the movements. I don't know if you can say all the movements have a um, protective uh, film on them. It's nice to know, be nice and shiny. Okay. I'm not the most gently person on the planet with the fingers like uh, sausages so I'm sorry for being shaking <laughs> okay that's another one that's the minute movement film remove the film okay I bend it a bit, it's very very thin metal. It's very easy to bend, so you need to be very gentle. And another movement which is the second seconds. I don't think it has a protective film. No, it hasn't. Okay. Okay. Done. My kitchen clock is ready. clock is ready now as you can see it looks quite quite nice well I'm actually surprised how nice this is especially for, for as I said I pressed the first time in my life so um, big thanks for the BMS at printerowners.co.uk for the sending me this stuff this sample it looks really great and it's ready to hang uh, on my kitchen wall I hope you enjoyed the video and please rate thumbs up if you found it helpful and please watch the space it will be new videos coming soon. Thanks a lot guys.